Hello, and thank you very much for taking a look at our business plan specific for a real estate developer. Uh, very quickly, I'm going to walk through the Word document, and I'll show you the Excel model. And there are other documents that come along with this. Um, it has an automated table of contents, so as you add content, simply right-click, hit Update Field, hit OK, and these page numbers will automatically update for you. It starts with the executive summary outlining your initial real estate development operations. Again, this is a Word document, so you can adjust any aspect of this uh, to fit the needs of your organization. All the charts and graphs that you see can be completely modified for your purposes. Chapter 2 outlines the amount of money you're looking to raise and how those funds will be used. Chapter 3 overviews the development of real estate, uh, rental and sales of properties. Again, you can adjust this as needed. Chapter 4 is the industry research, which is updated for this year and discusses matters pertaining to COVID-19 and low interest rates at the moment. Chapter 5 is the marketing plan, and there's a standalone 24-page marketing plan that comes along with this. Chapter 6 is the overview of your organization. Headcount and payroll, again, can be completely adjusted to your needs. And of course, the financial plan, which is done over a three-year period and has a profit loss statement cash flow analysis, balance sheet, break even analysis, business ratios, and then the last two chapters are a monthly breakdown of your revenues for year one, quarterly for year two, quarterly for year three, and the same with the cash flow analysis. And I'll, I'll spare you the headache from scrolling down any further. Let me just go back to the top. And here's the Excel model. Very easy to use. All the instructions are right on this tab. So as, on, excuse me, on each tab. So as you go through it, you can adjust anything as needed. You can enter in your anticipated gross margins per property. Um, the positions, titles can change. Excuse me, payroll can change. Underlying expenses are all adjustable. From there, you enter in your anticipated number of projects in year one, your annual growth rate, and your headcount. And out comes your profit and loss statement. Oops. Here are those expanded profit and loss statements. Again, calculated automatically. Cash flow analysis, the expanded cash flow analysis, break even analysis, business ratios, and of course the balance sheet. This also comes with, again, the standalone marketing plan, three SWOT analysis templates, a pitch deck, uh, as well as some other pertinent information for starting a real estate development business. Thank you very much for taking a look.